Hello everyone and welcome back to Cam Tai Handmade Creations and another tutorial. Today we're going to learn how to crochet a basic shell stitch. As you can see here from my swatch, I have this lovely purple yarn and these three rows of shell stitching here. We're going to be using the shell stitch as well as the V stitch in this project. So let's go ahead and get started and we're going to look at our tools. We're just going to use a 4.5 millimeter hook. You can use any size hook that you want. I'm going to go ahead and use this purple red heart yarn here. I think it's a category three and I'm going to go ahead and make my slip knot. And we're going to chain 41 stitches. You want to make sure that you have an uneven amount of stitches here. And I'm going to start with our 41 chains. Okay, so now we have our 41 chains. And let's go ahead and get started. So we're going to skip chains. We're going to skip four chains from the hook. And in our fourth chain, we're going to skip three, sorry. And in our fourth chain, we're going to put a double crochet. Now you want to chain three and add another double crochet to that same stitch. We're going to do this all the way across. You're going to chain one and skip three more and in your fourth stitch do another double crochet once you've made that double crochet go ahead and chain two i'm sorry three and go into that same stitch again with another double crochet chain one and I'm going to do this all the way across. So now we're going to go into the clusters and what we're going to do is we're going to put seven double crochets into each of these V stitches. Now that may seem like a lot um, and it may seem like it will begin to curve over or curve inward, um, but I'm going to show you how to fix that. So let's go ahead and begin with our seven double crochets into this first V stitch and we're going to call these clusters as we go along seven into those so that's one here's two three four five six and seven now once you have your seven double crochets into that v stitch you are not going to chain one you're just going to go ahead and yarn over go into your next v stitch and continue on in each of these v stitches you will be putting seven double crochets into each of those v stitches do not chain at the end just immediately go into your next v stitch and make your seven double crochets okay so i'm at the end of the row i'm just finishing my last cluster of these double crochets i'm going into this last row here you want to put your last your final double crochet into your second chain from that previous chain that you made in the previous row so you're going to go ahead and do a double crochet you're going to chain four and turn your work so now we're going to go ahead and turn this around <clears throat> and as you can see it's kind of curving just a little bit but that's going to fix as soon as we go ahead and put in our um our v stitch into those stitches it's going to straighten it out perfectly just like you saw in the beginning of the video so now we're going to go ahead and begin our second row and what we're going to do is we're going to skip four double crochets we're going to skip three and then in the fourth double crochet we're going to make a 
V-stitch. So go ahead and yarn over, count three stitches, and in your fourth stitch, you want to make your V-stitch. So you have double crochet, chain three, and then another half double crochet. I'm sorry, double crochet into the same stitch. So it's a double crochet, chain three, double crochet into the same stitch. We're going to continue that all the way across. You do want to chain one time once you uh, finish this V-stitch. You want to chain one, skip another three double crochets in the next cluster, and then do another V-stitch. So I'm going to count out three stitches, one, two, three. In my fourth stitch, I'm going to make a V-stitch. That's a double crochet, chain three, and another double crochet into the same stitch and basically what you're doing with this pattern is just the same thing row after row you do your first row of your V stitch your second row will be your clusters of your shell which is your seven double crochets into that V stitch and then another row of V stitches again so you just continue doing this throughout the whole pattern you make it as long or as short as you want to so this is basically what it looks like when you're done as I said, you can continue on and keep building off of that. But that will be the end of our tutorial. Please do not forget to like and subscribe. If you have any comments or any questions, please be free. feel free to go ahead and ask me some questions. I have no problem with answering you. And I want to thank you uh, for joining me in this tutorial on how to make this basic shell stitch. Have a great day. Happy holidays.